Yesterday, on January 15, the entire cryptocurrency market recorded a massive decline in value as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and other major cryptocurrencies fell amidst a major correction. The cryptocurrency market lost $60 billion in market valuation, mostly due to the massive decline in the price of smaller cryptocurrencies in the market. One similarity the four cryptocurrencies have with one another is that their trading volumes are somewhat concentrated in the South Korean and Japanese cryptocurrency markets, and the two markets have been demonstrating early signs of recovery from the recent cryptocurrency trading ban fiasco initiated by the South Korean government. Bitham, the second largest cryptocurrency exchange in the global market based in Seoul, South Korea, is processing $760 million worth of TUM trades per day, accounting for nearly 60% of TUM's exchange market share. Cardano, or ADA, has been receiving more media coverage than major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. In South Korea and Japan, ADA is being acknowledged as a legitimate competition against Ethereum, given its proof-of-stake, POSE, based blockchain protocol that supports decentralized applications. Still, in most major markets, Bitcoin remains problematic for casual users and newcomers due to its high fees. Investors and users are highly anticipating the integration of SegWit and other innovative ceiling solutions by the key players within the cryptocurrency market. But, if the transaction fees of Bitcoin remain relatively high even after the integration of SegWit and efficient transaction batching systems, the market will react negatively to the progress. As of current, Bitcoin is still considered as the reserve currency of the cryptocurrency market, given its low volatility rate in comparison to other cryptocurrencies.